Hey everyone and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss and Own Your Health. And this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent and sustainable weight loss. I would like to thank Vicki Garnier for this unbelievable t-shirt that she designed for me for my birthday. If you have trouble seeing the graphic, she also made it into a bag for me in all of my favorite colors. Thank you so much, Vicki, you are so talented. And let's get on with the recipe. So today I'm gonna be making cinnamon crisps. If you remember Taco Bell back in the day, they had something, maybe they still do, I don't know. It's been years since I ate fast food and even years since I've eaten at any restaurant. But they had something called cinnamon crispas that were really crunchy and yummy. They were flour tortillas and they were fried with sugar and cinnamon. And when I was little, I remember that little bear and it had sugar and cinnamon in it. My mom used to put it on toast and it was so good. Uh, this just has two ingredients, uh, corn tortillas and cinnamon cinnamon. So get a corn tortilla that you like or make one. I look for a brand that has just corn or corn and maybe traces of lime. You can get white corn or yellow corn, non-GMO organic in many places. And you take them and you put them on a sheet. I'm using my air fryer, but I'm actually using the baking feature, but I love to use these air fryer trays because there's lots of circulation, but you could just do this on a regular baking sheet. And then you want to wet them a little bit. So I have a little pastry brush and some water. If you have a spray bottle that just has water in it, you could use that as well. You're not trying to drench them. You're just trying to get them a little bit wet so that the cinnamon will stick. I used to have one of those spray bottles. You probably get one at the 99 cent store. Probably be easier just to spray it. And that way the spices stick. And by the way, you can do this with savory spices as well, but it's fantastic with cinnamon. And get a good brand like a Sagon Cassia Cinnamon from Local Spicery because this actually tastes like sugar. That's why these taste sweet without sugar. And then you'll take your cinnamon and you'll just sprinkle it over the top, a little or a lot. And then I'm going to just bake them in a preheated oven that I have preheated to 350 degrees. And your oven will vary. Um, I always recommend you get an oven thermometer. They're very inexpensive to make sure your oven's calibrated. My oven 12 minutes is perfect, but you'll want to check them at about 10. And depending, you might need as much as 15 minutes. So I'm gonna pop these in my oven at 350 for 12 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're done. So these came out of the oven and they are nice and crisp. You can hear that and they'll continue to crisp as they cool. Store them always in an airtight container, a good piece of Tupperware. And then I'm just gonna put these on my tray with the others. These make great for dipping into things like dessert hummuses or fruit salsas, and they'll satisfy your need for crunch. So I hope you'll try this recipe, and if you try it, let me know if you like it. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Chef AJ. I truly believe you can have both the health and the body that you so richly deserve. Take care.